bigger testimony in Jesus name alright thank you God bless you amen so um huh? okay don't worry don't worry don't worry no time no time alright um Pastor Solomon where Pastor Solomon okay I don't, I don't know if uh, we're going to sow this chair into his life now. I don't know if he has this kind of chairs in his church. So that if he's going, he can now carry it. I want to give him this chair. And this chair will now bring hundreds of chairs. People will now begin to come and sit down. Come here, come here. Come here, Pastor. I don't know if you have this type in your church. Eh? Okay, if you're going, you'll carry this one. Amen. It's a seed from this church to you. Eh? God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much. Give the Lord a beautiful clap offering here. All right, all right. So, um, tell your neighbor, get your apple, get your apple first. Get your apple, get your apple. Because no time, no time to check time. No time to check time. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. All right. Um, quickly, I have only 10 minutes to run through this. Then I begin to let pray for people then. So we can close because time is against us seriously. Now, go to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Proverbs 18, 22. The Bible speaking says, He that finds a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Help me tell neighbor, wife is a good thing. Husband is a good thing. I say, tell your neighbor. Wife is a good thing. Husband is a good thing. Find one. Can I say, find one? You don't find? If you never find, go find today. I say, if you never find, go find your own today. Oh yeah, if you are saying amen, say louder, Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Now, wife is a good thing. Finding favor speaks of children. He that finds a wife found a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord. So, obtaining of favor talks about getting children. Are you hearing me now? So, children is God's favor in a marriage. Hello? Can we be frank? Can we be frank? Child of God, I understand the place of faith and I want that cry to end. But any family where there is no child, the family is crying. Is somebody hearing me now? Children make the joy of the family to be And listen, let me tell you, any woman that does not have a husband, that woman is crying. Life without husband knows you. You're not hearing me. So life without husband is not easy. It's not easy. Life without husband. Hey. How do we how do you know what I'm talking about? See a woman, anytime a woman gets married, her body began to change. Even if she was ugly before, she started becoming beautiful. Hey. Hey. I know say, some people here, your testimony will not pass today. Is somebody hearing me now? <laughs> Life without... Can I balance it? Life without a spouse is not easy. Without husband, without wife, it's not uh, easy. Get one. Find one. If God bless you, the blessing begins with marriage. Children. House. Then other things begin to come. But I'm telling you, if you are married, 
no matter what they feed you with, if you like, live on top of money and children know that they are, you are crying. You are crying. That's why I had to go to God in prayer. And the Lord said to me to bring it to an end. Your tears must be over today. Because after now, you begin to have plenty of children. If you so desire. So he said, he that finds a wife, find a good thing. Found a good thing and obtain a favor of the Lord. So, obtaining of the favor talks about children. Now, when you come to the word of God, in Psalm 127 verse 3, the Bible speaking says, Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord, and fruit of the womb is his reward. If that means, look at it there. He said, Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. That means that God rewards people with the fruit of the womb. That's why I said get apple fruits. It's a symbol of the fruits. It doesn't mean that we cannot pray with the apple. We can. We can. But it's faster when we pray with apple. So if you are looking for triplets, you get three. A lady sitting here in our midst now. Sometime early this year, around March or thereabouts. Or April. She's here now. Trusting the Lord for children. I told her to get me two apples and she brought it. Pray for her. I said, this month, go and conceive. As I'm talking to her, she's pregnant. Yeah. After eating the apple with her husband. As I'm talking to her, she's in this service, she's pregnant. After eating the apple with her husband. I announce to somebody here. After eating this apple today, issue of children over in your life. I said, issue of children over in your life. Yeah. Why? Because children are the heritage of the Lord. Fruit of the womb is his reward. Low sperm count or what they call weakness of organ is a disgrace to a, for a youthful man. Is a what? Is a disgrace. How can a man be a man and that thing is not a uh, is, is not having network amen hey look up here if you like eh, give your wife all the food in this world if you don't give them the other food she's not happy oh. you are not hearing me oh eh, no, I'm not trapping her line eh when you don't give you the food, I do, I do you for what I do. Eh? When you don't give you that food that day, when uh, the food no agree, uh, come, I feel. Talk through, talk through. Daddy, I, I felt sad. Honestly. He felt sad? Yes. <laughs> hey, tell neighbor, give him the food. Oh. <laughs> Very important. You see, it's God who created it to be so. You can't stop it. Is somebody hearing me now? When a man does not have his quiver full of them, there is shame. You need to be full. There is that to be full. As I give you this apple, eat now. You are going to be full. I say you'll be full in the name of Jesus. Today, eh? Today now for today now for special people. And I know you are a special person. Are you hearing me now? Go to first, I mean, um, Psalm 127 verse 4. Psalm 127 verse 4. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. So you need to be an arrow, fire. Oh, you're not hearing me. If you're not firing like an arrow, there's a problem. Hello? <laughs> there's a problem. So that's why I want to pray for you. So you can begin to be strong and begin to move. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. No time, no time, no time. I just have to rush through these things. So when you go down to verse 5, verse 5, verse 5, verse 5. Happy is the man that had his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gates. When a man is a man, hey, 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 stop there. 
they stop. But when a man, God has to be, who they talk? Even your wife will say, who they talk? If men they talk, you two go talk. You know, man. Women trust them now, even their mouth. <laughs> you know, man. I'm not going to hear a word. Uh, but you get as you go do them. In the morning, the woman will greet you. Me go, sir. Me go. <laughs> me go. You're going to greet you very special. Why? Because uh, you are, you, you are quiver is full. Mm, you are a powerful man. You're like an arrow. You shot well. Are you ready? Miscarriage means to miscarry a baby. It means you don't carry it well. Is it true of us? And by the grace of God, I'm here for you to carry it very well. Yeah. Go to Exodus 23 verse 26. Exodus 23 verse 26. Miscarriage means you didn't carry it well. You miscarry. That means you miscarry it. So I will be here to help you to carry it, to arrange it. They shall not cast their young. Nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. That is what they're talking about. Miscarriage. You can miscarry it. You didn't carry it very well. So I'm here to help you carry it very well. So you can balance. This one that you will carry, you will carry it to the full time and you will deliver successfully in Jesus' name. Yeah. Infections is nothing but an affliction from the devil. So you say he has infection. Uh, be, can you imagine? You have been treating infection for over how many years now? Infection. 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 How they go? It means that it means you are afflicted. Go to verse 6. Go to verse 6. I mean verse uh, 25. The Exodus 23, 25. Infection simply means an affliction by the devil. It means there is an affliction in your blood fluid stopping you not to conceive. It's not a it's not a listen. You need to now understand what it is so you can respond to it very well when you're praying. And he shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. So infection is nothing but an affliction in your blood. So I am here to pray for you today. Every infection is going to clear. Amen. You are saying amen. Say better amen. amen. A lady came here. I think, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What was that her name? Is it Joy or something? Is it Joy? Eh? Uh -huh. A lady came here. And when she testified, after I pray on apple like this, I said, this apple will work effectively in the area of infections. I think Joy is her name, right? Uh -huh. This lady was somebody that when she sit down like this, people began to look for what is smelling. The odor begin to ooze out from her private part. The infection has congealed. The infection, it don't get muko. Did you hear what I said? The infection began to come out of her body. She dare not open her legs where people are because of shame. She said here, even me, oh, even me that own my body, I dare not put my finger into my body and smell. If she cannot, who can? Holy Ghost? Hey, you're not hearing me now. And they told her that this infection is in jail, the highest jail of infections. She said all her savings ended in treating infections. She said, I am ashamed to visit friends. If I'm having a date, before we even talk of anything, you will ask me, say, what is the smell? Something is smelling. And me, I know the thing is coming out from my body. It was that bad. Very pretty girl. How many of you remember? Very pretty girl. But the, very fine pretty girl. But the enemies afflicted her with this infection. She began to suffer. 
Like all the testimonies we are hearing this morning, we don't arrange testimonies here. Sometimes we need a proof. Because there are certain things that God is doing here that some people outside will say, no, I'm not sure it's possible. I pray on apple like this in a service. After praying on the apple, I said, go and eat the apple. She went home, ate the apple that night. Woke up in the morning, infection disappeared. See? She put her finger. Nothing. She went and we, we, we came out clear, clean. She tried all means to smell her body. Nothing disappeared. She's remembered. Hey! So this apple was because of me. That the man of God said that this thing will work against chronic infections. And it happened. Whatever chronic in your body, as you eat of this apple today, unless you are not standing on your feet, but as you stand and declare amen, as you eat of this apple now, Every infection clear from your body. Raise up that apple and shout, God of FCDC. I say, raise it up and shout it louder. God of FCDC. Do wonders through this apple. Give me apple children, apple marriage. Apple finances, apple breakthrough, apple sources. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every affliction clear in my body. Sickness disappear. Affliction clear. Delay pregnancy over. Marital struggle over. 